Good evening and welcome to the Strategy of the Week for Friday, November 15th, 2013. My name is Brian D'Amico, Manager of Educational Services here at VectorVest, and it's my pleasure to present your strategy this evening titled, Making Money with the Enhanced VectorVest Derby. If there were a horse race with these five horses and I asked you to pick which horse would win the race, you'd have no basis to make a decision other than what the horse looked like. However, what if you knew that in the last five races, the first horse has never won and its average finish was fifth? These two horses also never won, but their average finish was better at 4.2 and the one at the bottom at a respectable 2.4. The other two horses actually won some races and had great average finishes. You now have better information to help you select which horse is likely to do well in the race. In a typical horse race, you're not allowed to bet after the race starts. But what if you were allowed? Which horse would you bet on now? You'd bet on this horse because you knew how well it did in the past and you see how well it is doing now. That is the essence of the VectorVest Real-Time Derby. Using the all-new VectorVest Real-Time Derby, within minutes you will know which searches in VectorVest have performed consistently well in the past. And at any instant during the day, you'll know which searches and which stocks are performing well. And the good news is, you don't even have to finish first to win. Back on May 3rd, 2013, I demonstrated a technique to use to find the best performing searches, and that technique is valid anytime you're looking for stocks to buy, so let's do a quick recap. Here's a look at the market timing graph as it appeared on May 3rd. To find the best performing searches, I wanted to know which searches did well from this bottom to this top and compare that to the searches that did well from this market bottom to the current date at the time that I recorded the video. In order to get that information, I went into Unisearch and quick tested all the searches I was interested in and manually recorded the data in a spreadsheet just like you see here. So what I did is I ran individual quick tests for each search for each time period and recorded the information here. After doing that, pale blue chips caught my eye because of its performance and because it was the only search in the top five that consistently returned 10 stocks. I then wanted to make sure the search found winners no matter what day I ran the search. I didn't just want the search to find good stocks on April 17th. I wanted it to find good stocks on April 18th and April 19th and so on. So I quick tested the search on each day and recorded the results in another sheet like you see here. At that point, not only was I confident the search worked well in the past, but it consistently found winners. Had you purchased the top 10 stocks from that search on May 3rd, this is what they would have done since then. They're up over 22%. Let's see how the VectorVest real-time derby will dramatically speed up this process for you, and much more. I've opened up our market timing graph as of today, and you can see here we have a bias to the upside, not only recently, but you can see over the past several months the market's been rising. In addition, if I put the primary wave on, which is our earliest signal of market direction, you can see we did have a primary wave change from down and it turned back to up on November 13th. In addition, green lights have begun appearing again in the color guard. In this case, you'd want to find searches that performed well during the recent upturn and see how they performed recently. As I mentioned a moment ago, without the VectorVest Derby, my next step would be to go to the Unisearch tab and quick test all of the searches I was interested in from the bottom to the top and then again over the recent time period. Let's head over to the Vectress Real-Time Derby and see how it could help us. Now when I click on the Derby tab, it shows me today's action, and I'll come back to that in a little bit. For now, let's come over here and click on the Tote Board. Just like in horse racing, the Tote Board lists the historical performance. And as you can see here, we've got many searches listed. In fact, we've got over 180 of our searches listed here. And I want you to watch this, everyone, because with a few clicks, I'm going to be able to quick test 
all 180 searches. All right. So all I have to do is come up here and choose buy and hold. And I'm going to set my date range to the market bottom, which occurred on October 9th. And the end date to the market top on October 30th. By setting that date range, the Derby is now going to quick test all of the searches in the system between those two dates. So when I hit OK, the Derby has now run every one of these searches as of the close of business on October 8th. And it's testing them from October 9th through October 30th. And look at the information you get right here. If we look right up at the top, we can see the search called Marathon was the top performer with a total gain of 19%. And when you click on that row, it will show you the stocks from the search. And you can see four stocks got returned from the search. And if I shrink this right hand side, it's going to show you a mini graph of the portfolio performance. You don't see this type of detail when you just run a quick test. So let's close this and look at the searches in the list. So here we can see we have Marathon, but you can see only four stocks got returned. And with this one down here, Bottom Fishing, it only returned two stocks. But here we can see we've got Use the Rules Long, Explosive EPS Stocks 2. We've got Firework Stocks, Hottest Growth Stocks, Gold Digger, TSX Composite, TSX 60, both slash RT, and so on down the line. Jubilee, Tim's and Tiger's Stalwarts. Now that we have these quick test results, just like I described earlier, I want to make sure these searches consistently found winners. I want to make sure that they didn't just get lucky and find a good group of stocks on the first day of the test. So watch this. All I have to do is come over here and change this. Instead of buy and hold, I'm going to vary the start date. And the best way to explain what the Derby has now done is to click on one of these searches. So here we can see we have Marathon right back at the top of the list. And when I click on Marathon, you can see that the Derby has now run 15 separate quick tests starting every single day and always ending on the last day in the range. So look at the information we now have about Marathon we can see that it continued to find either four or three stocks, and that no matter what day we ran that search, whether it have been the 9th, the 10th, or so on, it was profitable. So it didn't just get lucky on the first day, it was a consistent winner. And if we close Marathon, let's take a look at some of the other ones. If I click on the second one, TSX 60 slash RT, we can see the same thing, consistently finding winners. And if we go to Gold Digger, all right, take a look at this. Found winners for quite a bit, but it started to tail off towards the end of that upturn. So keep in mind what the Derby has just done. It just ran 15 quick tests on over 180 searches. In other words, it just ran over 2,700 quick tests in a matter of seconds. And we now have a list of all of the searches in the system, and the ones with the best performance are at the top of this list. So let's go through here. Let's just see if we have any matches from the list that we created when we did the buy and hold. Of course, we know that Marathon is number one in both lists. Firework stocks was in both. Hottest growth stocks was in both. Gold Digger was as well. Both of these TSX searches were in both lists. And there's a few others like High VST Bargains. And if I scroll down a little bit, searches like Jubilee, we're also in both lists. So now we've narrowed down the list of searches to consider down from 180 to about 10 or so. The Derby also does even more analysis for us. If I come up to the top, and instead of varying the start date, if I switch this to what's called a sliding window, the Derby will now, once again, do multiple quick tests on each search but it's only going to hold the stocks for a certain number of days. By default, it's going to hold the stocks for a three-day period. This is just another way to find which searches are the most robust and likely to continue to do well. So after we've done our sliding window analysis, 
let's see if we've got some familiar names in the list. Well, once again, now we've got Marathon still back up at the top. We have Fireworks stocks up there, Hottest Growth stocks. Once again, we've got TSX60 slash RT. And of course, there's a few others that match. So now that we know that those searches performed well during the last uptrend, now let's do a test to see which searches have performed over the last five days and see if any of them are still performing well. So all I have to do is come up to this date range. I'm going to set the end date to today. And I'm just going to choose five days prior to that, which would be the 11th. And I'm going to choose the analysis mode of varying the start date. So let's take a look back at our list and let's see if any of the searches at the top here match the searches that performed well during the last upturn. And here we can see we've got hottest growth stocks in the list, fireworks stocks, and there's a couple others in there as well. Once you have that information, you now know what worked during the last uptrend. You know which searches have been working consistently recently. Now let's find out what searches are working today. To get that information, just come right up to the top and you can click on Derby View to see today's action. In other words, the race has begun and you want to see if any of your searches are doing well. Once again, you're getting a lot of great information here. Not only about each search, but about the overall market as well. Here in the Derby view, what we do is we put the top 10 stocks from each search into a portfolio. And we are tracking how those portfolios do during the day. By default, we're looking at the stocks as if we purchased them as of today's market open. For example, when you click on a search, it will show you the stocks from the search and a live graph of the portfolio performance. For example, let's take a look at this. I'm going to shrink the right hand side and here we've got to search Best New Highs BMB, which stands for Bear Market Beater. And we can see for about the first hour or so, actually about two hours, it was fairly flat. But look at how it's really taking off right now. And you can look at the individual stock performance right here. If I just pull this over, you can see you've got a couple of stocks really taking off here. And you can see this information for each stock search in this list. So if I go to VST Rockets, man, look at that. This one has been steadily climbing all day. Earlier, we came up with a short list of searches we knew did well in prior market conditions. Does that mean you should totally ignore other searches like this, like VST Rockets that's doing really well today? No. If you see a search busting out of the gate and increasing throughout the day, you can definitely consider that. Now let's look at something else here. Let me close up VST Rockets. And I want you to take a look at something. If I go back to the Home tab, you can see we've got one green light here. So we've got a green light in the color guard and the TSX composite is up, the VVC is up. However, if we go back to the Derby and we pull back over the Derby summary, it's telling us that out of all of the bullish searches in the system, over 61% of them are losing money since the market opened today. So even though the market's up today, it looks like the market's been pulling back overall throughout the day. With that information alone, you may decide not to buy today and either wait until later in the day or just wait for another day. Using the Derby to help time your entries is just as valuable as using it to pick your searches. A penny saved is a penny earned. Now let's say the Derby did show that a majority of the bullish searches were making money today. Well, in that case, you would look through the list to see if any of the searches you found from the tote board are there today. Let's look at how this technique could have helped us make money in a prior up market. So let's go back to the market timing graph. And if we look down here at the market timing graph, we can see this big green candle here. On that day, the primary wave turned back to up. And you can see that here, the primary wave turned up. Now that's the earliest indication of a change in market direction. The very next day, you'll see this if I change to the green light buyer, on the very next day, on October 11th, we got a green light in the price column of the color guard again. 
that's letting you know that the uptrend had resumed. So knowing that, let's go to the Derby and the tote board and find out which searches were performing consistently well during this recent period here, because that would give you insight into which search to select moving forward. So if I go back to the Derby, I'm gonna to go to the tote board, I'm gonna change this to buy and hold, and I'm gonna set this date range, I'm gonna move this back to October, and we had the green light on the 11th, so I'm gonna go back five days prior to that, to the 7th, and change this to the 11th. I'm gonna click OK. So now within just an instant, the Derby's tote board has now quick tested every search in the system during this period. So now since we're bullish, let's look at the searches that are long. Hey, look at that. We got Marathon right back up near the top. That only returned four stocks. Now we've got a few others that returned three, three, three. But let's take a look down here. Here's a bunch of them that returned 10 stocks in those searches. So we got all these aggressive searches. We had El Cheapo Cheapos. And if I come down here, we got Hottest Growth Stocks returned 10, Explosive EPS Stocks. So now let's, instead of doing a buy and hold, let's see if they were consistent during this period. So if I change this to the very, the start date, let's see which long searches are at the top here. So Marathon, El Cheapo Cheapos. Now we've got Southern Comfort up at the top. Aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. Hottest growth stocks. So now you've got a short list of searches that you would consider to use during the next up wave in the market. Well, let's see how they did. You could easily do that now with the Derby. So I want to use the tote board now to just tell me how these searches did from October 11th until now. So let's do this. Let's come in here. Let's change this time period. So I'm going to bring this all the way to current. I'm going to go to the 11th, hit OK, and let's just do a buy and hold. So here's a list of all the searches in the system and how they performed from the 11th of October until now. Man, take a look at this. Hottest growth stocks, Marathon, the three aggressive searches, Southern Comfort, all very, very familiar names. And those are the same searches that we found that performed well prior to the market upturn that we were going to consider to use to enter positions during the next up wave. So let's summarize what we went over tonight. Tonight, I hope you saw how you could use the Derby to quick test every search in the system. Not only that, but you can use the tote board to vary the start date and use a sliding window approach to see which searches are the most consistent. In addition, you could then switch to the Derby view to see which searches are hot right now. With these new enhancements to the Vector S Derby, you will find it is an amazing time saver for you. You will be able to cut down your research time and know which searches are hot at any point in the market. If you currently subscribe to Vectris Real Time and you have the Derby, these features will appear to you at no extra charge. If you don't have either Vectris Real Time or the Vectris Derby, just give us a call. We'd like to give you a free 30 day trial to either Vectris Real Time or the Derby. Keep in mind, we typically charge $29 for a real time trial, but we're giving a free trial to Vectris Real Time and a 30-day trial to the Derby to go along with it. We'd like you to test drive this before you buy it. Oh, and P.S. We will be having a Q&A webcast on Monday at 11 a.m. where we'll discuss all these new enhancements. To register for that webcast, simply go to vectress.com slash events. I want to thank you all for attending today, and we look forward to having you back again next week at the Vectress University. Good night, everyone.